Hey, Strange Seekers. So yesterday, New Jersey had its first snowstorm. So as soon as the roads cleared, we headed out here to the Devil's Tree. Sorry for the shakiness in our video, but it was kind of slippery out here. So anyway, this tree has a ton of legends. But the one that brought us out here was that snow doesn't fall on or around the tree. Supposedly, the tree has an unnatural warmth, even on the coldest days of winter. So stories go back to at least the 1920s, when the KKK had a strong presence in the area. Allegedly, they held rallies, cross burnings, and hangings in the area. Though there's no historical proof that anyone was hanged and killed from this particular tree, this area was known for racial incidences. Some say the tree soaked up all the hate, fear, anger, and revenge from those times and became a beacon of true evil or a portal to hell. After that, the stories emerged of people touching the tree and committing suicide or murder later on. Tales start of a local farmer who supposedly killed his entire family and then hung himself from the devil's tree. Others claim to have gotten into car accidents after leaving the tree, hands turning black and staying that way for days, chains or bracelets with crucifixes would break while walking towards the tree. One local family believed in the evil so much that they wanted to protect the people from the tree. They tried chopping it down, pulling it down, and burning it down, but nothing worked. Chainsaw and axes would break, ropes would snap, people would get hurt. So the tree was deemed no trespassing, and it was wrapped in a chain link fence. Some say that the family sat in trucks and would chase away people who came near the tree and the legends of the ghost trucks started from there. The tree felt normal when I touched it, and there was snow at the base, but strangely, the axe marks are perfectly recognizable, and the scorch marks from it being burned over 50 years ago are still here. The chain fence has been removed, and the tree is now a historical landmark. Unfortunately, you have those who like to tag everything they see and forget it's a piece of nature, and you should be more thoughtful. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed our video, and if you have any stories of the Devil's Tree, we would love to hear them.